live from Amarillo, working in the panhandle spirit. ABC 7 News at 6 starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us. First tonight, a parent's worst nightmare becomes reality when their 18-year-old son randomly collapses at home, not breathing. The family used prayer and their faith to create what many see as Mashburn's miracle. ABC 7's Morgan Durden tells us the story. I was in my room um, listening to an audiobook and heard a sound, a, a loud bang, and found Jake in, in his bathroom collapsed on the floor. Carrie Mashburn calls 911 and begins performing CPR on her son. We were actually about to get off of work. Um, we happened to exit I-40 and Bell, and uh, we received the 911 call because we were the closer unit. Paramedics Joseph King and Hunter McDonough arrive at the Mashburn home, the 18-year-old still without a pulse. He won't have one for 25 minutes. They continue CPR, shocking Jake in five times while en route to BSA. After doing this for over 12 years, usually when you see someone in dire situation as Jaken was, uh, the outcome is generally not as favorable. Jaken's dad, Brian, in Houston. Of course, I'm just in shock, feeling like I'm in the wrong place, needing to get home as quick as I can, and uh, just praying. He was hooked up to all the ventilators, all the meds, and all, all the things. Amanda Loftus, a nurse at BSA, unaware of how important she would be in Jaken's story. A high schooler who, the day before, was doing all the typical teenage boy things. Now, relying on medication and machines to survive. Doctors continue to run tests as time ticks by. You know, it's hard being in a situation where your boy is in need of life-saving devices. Two days after Jaken collapsed, a turn almost no one saw coming. He came walking out from his icy room, and that's when he told us that they had turned off the vent. Jaken able to speak to his family, but he has short-term memory loss. Do you worry, like, his physical body, but is his mind good? Miraculously, Jaken's recovery kept going in the right direction. Just four days after the incident, his doctors allow him to visit with friends and family. There were moments, but it seemed like I couldn't be, like, too discouraged or scared for more than an hour before some great news happened. Eight days after Jaken was admitted, the Mashburns say goodbye to these walls. Um, yeah, words can't describe that. It was, it was just, uh, words can't describe that. Jaken is back in school. He recently visited his girlfriend in Dallas. Now he returns to the place where tragedy turned to Mashburn's miracle. The coolest part about it to me was like how it affected people. Like people in my church coming up to me, telling me how like it helped them in their faith. He's also meeting Joseph, Hunter, and Amanda again, this time under much different circumstances. It, I was very thankful to walk in here and get to hug Amanda, and uh, that, was, that was really awesome. I was also like the same way I was thankful for my parents. She was just always there. It's a breath of fresh air. It's something I didn't know I needed to see today. Such a good feeling, and that really reassures us as to why we do this job. I sat here today for the first time and I shook his hand and spoke to him and I usually don't get to do that. From ourselves to Amarillo Fire Department to the ER team downstairs to everybody here in this PICU, uh, it's an amazing teamwork in the healthcare world, um, but I think most importantly that without his mother performing CPR first on scene, Jaken would not be here today. Jaken has been diagnosed with long QT syndrome, a defibrillator implanted in his chest to prevent this from happening again. Whether it was God's miraculous touch on portions of this or the trained medical prowess of Carrie and everyone else that played a part, we give God the glory for all that. Jaken has plans to be a counselor this summer at a Christian camp, then college, where he will study biblical studies to become a youth minister. Reporting in studio, I'm Morgan Durden, ABC 7 News. Now the Mashburns have organized two free CPR training sessions on April 9th and May 14th at the Southwest Church of Christ. You can find details on how to register on our ABC 7 News app and abc7amarillo.com.